Have you ever heard a story that sounded too good to be true? Then you've probably come across something called the narrative fallacy. The narrative fallacy is the idea that if a story sounds too good or it makes sense, then it's seen as a fact. But sometimes it's not. The book Black Box Thinking by Matthew Syed addresses this concept amazingly well. The book mentions a story about a US program called Scared Straight, where it took minors who committed crimes for a tour in jail. During the tour, they were subject to verbal abuse from the prisoners. The idea was to scare them and give them a view of what it would be like if they ended up in jail. Sounds like a great idea, but not quite. A researcher later found that teenagers who went through this program were more likely to commit offences in the future. How is that possible? Because it damaged the kids psychologically in a number of ways. Another form of narrative fallacy are conspiracy theories like the flat earth theory, where false ideas are presented in form of facts. Oh wait, so how do you explain the bottoms of clouds being flat? There's nothing wrong with questioning existing ideas, but science is constantly questioning itself through false falsification, which is a rigorous process to test if a theory is wrong, and many times it does. Aristotle, for example, said that objects in motion would stop moving because they got tired. That sounded like it made sense until Newton came along. Ah, so the earth could be flat. Just stop, okay? Adverts are also good at telling stories about a product, but omit information about it or provide a massive disclaimer in small script. Being aware of this helps you not fall for that product that promises you eternal happiness or the latest diet fad. The media also knows this very well. Fake news, sensationalist headlines and clickbait have become an art of telling stories to distort the truth. One thing about popular stories is that they need to have a hero or a villain. And sometimes that form of storytelling is used in the news, instead of stating the truth and letting the reader decide for him or herself. Having protagonists and antagonists makes the story more interesting, resulting in more sales. Life imitates art. There are many layers to the truth and the more accurate information we have, the better our conclusion is going to be. The thing about the narrative fallacy is that it's not necessarily a lie, but it's not the entire truth. The omission or obfuscation of information can make a huge difference to our final conclusion or how we perceive a fact. It is what it is. It's exactly phrases like that that are subject to so much interpretation. It can mean pretty much anything. Shit happens, and that's what's insidious about it. The narrative fallacy is a manipulator's most powerful weapon, and it's used by a lot of politicians. This happens because we need to make sense of the world somehow and explain why things happen but it's just easier to jump to conclusions and we're a bit lazy to search for evidence that would falsify them and sometimes we even ignore that evidence because it's convenient that's called cognitive bias and sometimes we alter how we perceive new evidence just to hold on to our initial conclusion that's cognitive dissonance how do you know that black box thinking bro it's always better to research and analyze stories and statements rather than believe in them straight away. Sure, you don't want to burn yourself out by having to research every story you hear or stop relying on your intuition, but statements, stories and ideas that lead to some of our biggest decisions should at least be questioned or subject to scrutiny, motivating us to acquire more knowledge. <laughs> Are you even listening to me? I thought you had finished. You have that habit of making conclusions too quickly. To learn more, check out Black Box Thinking by Matthew Syed. When I